This long exposure photograph of moths flying around a floodlight shows an exaggerated rod effect. In cryptozoology and ufology, rods are elongated visual artifacts appearing in photographic images and video recordings. Some paranormal proponents claim them to be extraterrestrial lifeforms, extradimensional creatures, or very small UFOs. However, these artifacts appear naturally in video and outdoor photography as the result of an optical illusion due to motion blur, especially in interlaced video recording, and are typically afterimage trails of flying insects and their wing beats. Robert Todd Carroll, having consulted an entomologist, identified rods as images of flying insects recorded over several cycles of wing beating on video recording devices. The insect captured on image a number of times, while propelling itself forward, gives the illusion of a single elongated rod-like body, with bulges. The straight dope columnist Cecil Adams also explained rods as such phenomena, namely tricks of light which result from how a flying insects are recorded and played back. Adding that investigators have shown the rod-like bodies as resulting from motion blur, if the camera is shooting with relatively long exposure times. The claims of these being extraordinary creatures, possibly alien, have been advanced by either people with active imaginations, or hoaxers. In August 2005, China Central Television aired a two-part documentary about flying rods in China. It reported the events from May to June of the same year at Tonghua Zhenguo Pharmaceutical Company in Tonghua City, Jilin Province, which debunked the flying rods. Surveillance cameras in the facility's compound captured video footage of flying rods identical to those shown in Jose Escamilla's video. Getting no satisfactory answer to the phenomenon, curious scientists at the facility decided that they would try to solve the mystery by attempting to catch these airborne creatures. Huge nets were set up and the same surveillance cameras then captured images of rods flying into the trap. When the nets were inspected, the rods were no more than regular moths and other ordinary flying insects. Subsequent investigations proved that the appearance of flying rods on video was an optical illusion created by the slower recording speed of the camera. After attending a lecture by Jose Escamilla, UFO investigator Robert Schaefer wrote that some of his rods were obviously insect zipping. Across the field at a high angular rate and others appeared to be appendages which were birds' wings blurred by the camera exposure. Various paranormal interpretations of this phenomenon appear in popular culture. One of the more outspoken proponents of rods as alien life forms was the late Jose Escamilla, who claimed to have been the first to film them on March 19. 1994 in Roswell, New Mexico, while attempting to film a UFO. Escamilla later made additional videos and embarked on lecture tours to promote his claims. Thanks for watching.